Excel Module 3 Skills Review Analyzing Data Using Formulas Open 3-2 and the first thing we want to do is get a total for the first quarter revenue by adding January, February, and March. We could use the auto sum and or alt equals and then fill handle but there's also a quick way to do this. Select all of the data that you want added and choose the quick analysis tool select totals there are two sums one where the sum would be at the bottom of each column and then some where it's on the right so it would be for each row and that's what we want so we'll select that one select g2 and we're going to create a formula and the formula is to calculate the percent of increase between the first quarter, quarter revenue currently and the previous year. So your formula will be equals parentheses the first quarter this year minus the previous quarters and then close parentheses and to find the percent divide by the previous quarter and you'll find your percent is um, it's in decimal format so choose the percent from the number group and then we'll increase it for two decimal places so it's not rounding and then we'll fill handle. Click in H3 and we're going to create an if function which is a logical statement and what we want to do is have it look at the percentage in the in column G and if it, it meets the target 10% it would be met. If it doesn't it would be missed. So we'll choose the fx function in the which is insert function in the formula bar and if you don't have um, the functions and and if you would probably have to click the category and choose logical but I have if here so I'll click OK and if you ever need to move this you can just hover in the title and just drag it down. So I want it to look at G3 and then it needs to um, be greater than or equal to 10%. Now the 10% is in cell B10 and for each of the continuing rows to look at this percentage which is in B10 and always will be in B10 press F4 so that you have the dollar sign B it'll never look past column B or row 10 so if it's true it's met if it's false it's missed and you can tell right now that it's going to be false because the first person it's only 7.66 percent so go ahead and click OK and then use your fill handle whoops I'll drag it down so it doesn't do everything good the next thing is the bonus. The bonus is an AND. It has to meet two. It has to be met and it has to have a quality rating of four or more. So it needs two logical statements to be um, considered. So again FX but this time choose AND and OK. And you want it to look at H3 and it has to equal met. So when so you'll type equals but when you want it to to um, look for a particular word you have to um, have quotation before and quotation after so it looks for exactly that word. And the and if I3 what's that quality rating is greater than or equal to 4 and then it would be um, true if not false and the first one is false because it's not met it's missed so there should be two because that's four or more that are true so go ahead and OK and then use your fill handle and you should have two that are true click insert choose text the down arrow for more options header and footer and then we'll go to footer and in the center section type your name and then click in any cell above it to go back to the 
uh, worksheet, click View, choose Normal, Control Home will take you back to the beginning. Select B12, and we're going to use the Auto Sum to find the um, total of column E, but we want it rounded. So the first thing you'll do is go ahead and click the Home tab, the Auto Sum, just make sure that you select E3 to E9, and then press Enter. Go back into the cell and up in the formula bar. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, it shouldn't be sum, it should be average. So just get rid of sum and type average and then check mark and it should be the average. But we want it to round. So go back up into the formula. After equals type round parentheses, go to the end and finish with comma zero and close parentheses. And then when you press check, it should round it for you. Select B11, and we want it to count how many cities are in our worksheet. So you'll do equals count, and you'll see count A come up. So double, select, double click that to select it, and then select A3 to A9, and you should have seven. In column G with our percentages, we have two that are in the negative. So select that range and what we'll do is we'll go to, you can do it either from um, percentage and choose more number format, or you can also do it from the number dialog launch, box launcher. Either way, um, the percentage, the only options you have here is how many decimal places to show. Go to custom and then in the type section, you'll fill in with semicolon which is the common and uh, period and comma, and then your bracket, red, close the bracket, parentheses, 0.00%, close parentheses, and that'll put anything in the negative in red. Then we'll select B3 all the way to F9, and then hold control, so let go, hold control and click B12, and we want all this to be the accounting format, but we don't need the decimal places, so we'll decrease decimal twice. Click in D12 and type report date, and then tab, that takes you into E12, and then from the formula bar, click date and time, select today, and then OK, and you get the current date. And then what you'll do is you'll delete it. So just press delete on the keyboard, go back to date and time and choose date. And you're actually going to manually put in a date and the date is the year 2021 and the month is April and the day is the third. And then for those two, D12 and E12, you'll go back to the Home tab and into Cell Styles, and we're looking for Rows, 20% Accent 1, and then click in A1. The next thing we're going to do is create an Equation tool. So you'll go to form Formula Documentation um, Worksheet, so click in there, and you can click anywhere down um, below the um, text that's there. So to create a formula, click insert and select symbol and then click equation, the top part of equation. So the ribbon changes and we want to work with a fraction and we want one that's called stacked fraction. And it's very, very small. So if you want to make it wider, larger, you can. So in order to type in the top part of the fraction, the numerator, click this, the um, box so it becomes shaded and you're actually going to type the information. Um, I'll, I'll start it. So it's parenth open parenthesis, first quarter revenue. Now when it's time for minus, just press the um, hyphen key once and it automatically, and then don't press space, the, the, um, uh, the formula will do it for you. And then don't forget your close parentheses. Then click the bottom box, the denominator, and type that part. There is no um, open or close parentheses here. And then with the four arrows around the border, you drag and move it to A9. 
And if you're missing anything, just make it longer. And make sure everything's spelled correctly. Good. And you can go back to the first quarter. Worksheet. So according to the textbook on uh, number eight, they want you to go to File, Options, and then in um, Formulas, they want you to change it to Manual. And then it, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to keep it at automatic. So when you type in B3 a different amount, it will not recalculate the first quarter revenue or any of the um, the formulas that go with that row. Uh, you would have to do it manually, go to each one and, and redo the formula. But instead, we're just going to let it be automatic. So when I type 72,000 it will change the first quarter uh, revenue it'll change the um, percent and then depending if it goes over the 10 percent it may be met so we'll just we'll check put it in first so in B3 72,000 and then um, check mark and it definitely is 13.77 is over 10 percent so it is met and it's another true And that's a save and submit. Thank you.